Hi everyone, Morgan here, and today we're going to be talking about the To-Go Power Advanced 330 Power Station. This is a solar generator, but it doesn't just charge through solar, and I'll talk about that later. But what we have here is a few features that I quickly want to talk about, jumping right in. The Advanced 330 has a built-in MPP controller that can get the maximum recharging efficiency. It can easily get recharged with the efficient solar panels that come with it, which are 120 watts. They are sold separately. I'll show you here in just a minute. Uh, they provide the eco-friendly clean power of the sun, right? You can also recharge your unit through a wall outlet, car outlet, or even with another generator. So these are designed to be lightweight and portable. You can take them out, you can take them in, you can take them traveling, whatever, right? So this is a really nice option for almost any scenario, not just at home. So um, a couple other things that I want to talk about is the AC Pure Sine Wave Output. It provides clean power to meet the special requirements of your power station. It has 10 watt wireless charger, the double charge rate, then five watt wireless chargers that are on the market. So it charges a lot faster. Uh, and then it also has a dust cover design. That's probably one of the, love, the things that I love most about this is the covers. It protects from elements and dust, and I'm gonna talk about that later, but it does come with all of the cables that you need. I'm showing right here, the inputs. It comes with the cables that you need to charge from the panels to the uh, generator, as well as um, for your car charger and any other type of things that you might need. Here you can see it's 100%. Charge it when the sun, on sunny days, plug it into your wall outlet, before power outages and plug it into your car when you're traveling. All right, so now it's time to plug some things in. I think one of the things that I love about this model in particular is the covers. I don't think I've ever seen a solar generator with covers and it's so smart, you know, because let's protect it from the elements a little bit or dust and whatever else, right? So really smart. You can actually charge this um, not just with your solar panels, but also with a car charger. It comes with a car charger and you can also plug it into the wall. Okay, so I'm going to be plugging in a few things here, but first we have to turn it on. There it is. It's 100%. Perfect. Let's go ahead and start charging. All right, let's get a closer look uh, of a couple things. Ignore my really dusty bio thing, but here we got uh, our radio plugged in and I have this external battery that's plugged in. In order to actually activate these that are being plugged in, you have to press these buttons, which I like. I like that you don't just plug in and go. I like that you actually have to press these buttons in order to activate that actual plug. So first thing you do, plug, turn it on. Then when you plug something into one of these ports, you just press the little button to wherever the port is. Another really nice thing is that it's actually telling you what the output is. 22.1 hours and then it's uh 13 ac and usb watts so together it's pulling 13 watts which is basically nothing <laughs> okay so i have a rechargeable flashlight i'm gonna go ahead and plug that in boop it went from like 11 watts to 12. <laughs> so one thing that you actually have to keep in mind is that it has four USB ports, which is great. It has one um, AC out. So it, you can like, if you have a fan that takes, you know, the plug, like the plug into the outlet, you can only do one of those things at a time. Uh, this thing is very powerful. What I, I also really like the, the lights up here. There's a light oh, over here. And then there's this light. I like that, you know? Turning on those lights really like doesn't bring it up at all. It went from like 12 to 13. <laughs> and then that light, yeah, it's about the same. So yeah, it went back down to, went back down to 11. <laughs> but it does increase the um, hours, uh, the wattage hours and things like that. So, you know, when you have more things Obviously, when you have more things plugged in, it's going to take more power. Uh, you actually don't have to plug your phone in here. 
you all you have to do is put your phone if you have a smartphone you can put your phone down right there and it'll charge right there so you have your phone down there and then you can have these ports open for whatever else right so right now it is pulling 11 watts with the ac and usb i'm going to go ahead and take this off and see how much it drops oh 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 there it goes See, it dropped a little bit to nine. Nice. Okay, I'm <laughs> doing a couple things here. So I plugged in my child, one of my child's lamps, her little lamp, and it went up like one watt. <laughs> um, okay, so I decided that I wanted to see, this is a surge protector, and if you look over here, I have the Bayo thing and I have my laptop charging. This is a laptop, so I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna see if it'll explode. <laughs> I'm sure, pretty sure it'll be fine. Hey, the laptop went right up, but the laptop does take a lot. So let's, let's look at what it did. So the storage protector is working like, you know, I really didn't have any doubt it would, but it went down like significantly. The laptop takes quite a bit of power. You know, it's not like you're not keeping all this stuff on there all the time. You're just getting it charged up and going, right? It is portable, it's fairly lightweight, you know, it's not really like super lightweight, you know, it's still a solar generator, but it's nice and portable and small and so cute. <laughs> um, and I love the solar generators because you can bring them inside. Here I am charging inside, quiet, safe. Look at the wattage of whatever you want to charge and or power for whatever time period. You may even be able to charge your, um, like a, a swamp cooler that has the fan that runs. Um, if it's like a small swamp cooler that you like DIY yourself and has a little fan on it, I would not count on plugging in any sort of electric heater that um, those electric heaters use a lot of power. Um, but you know, you could get like a buddy heater or something like that. That's kind of, you know, whatever. But really look at what you're really gonna want to keep power. Like, do you want just like a lamp? Do you want to be able to charge your batteries? Do you want to be able to charge your Beofang, right? Do you want to be able to charge some flashlights? Do you want to be able to charge, you know, again, some lamps and things like that, and iPads for your kids or a DVD player for your kids, you know, or for you. <laughs> we all like entertainment, okay? Um, so look at the things that you realistically want to charge during a blackout, you know, because that's what this is. But you know another thing that's going to be, this is going to be really great for? road trips, <laughs> going on off-roading trips, camping. You can just take this and plug it in, plug stuff in. I think that's a huge benefit and because it is so small. And the panels are flat, so they basically just go wherever, you know. So a little quick update here. I actually unplugged this, this was charged. I unplugged the bail thing, that was charged. And then I went ahead and just plugged in the, um, the <laughs> the laptop straight in instead of using the surge protector, which the surge protector does lose a little bit of extra power. So directly, so powering directly straight in is beneficial um, if you can. Uh, so anyway, um, it has gone down 89%. It's been about an hour. It's still very good. You know, 7.7 .7 hours remaining, 34 watts output. Very good. Very, very good. Whatever you wanna power, look at the wattage of what you wanna power. So like these lamps, you know, nothing, you know, maybe one or two watts, nothing, right? Uh, Beofang, maybe a tiny bit more, not too much though, you know? Laptops, quite a bit of power. Uh, you know, these external battery banks or charging um, external batteries, you can get the ones with little USB chargers um, or just plug them in with the, with the surge protector or something. Um, or straight into here, <laughs> a um, little bit more power. Uh, you know, just look at the wattage of things that you want to power. You want to power a TV? Well, is there enough wattage? You know, I've shown you the electric uh, heaters. Is that, uh, you know, the absolute least amount of power that I saw with those electric heaters were was 360 watts. Even if I were able to find one that's 300 watts, it would only last you know, a, a little, it, don't, it wouldn't last that long is what I'm saying. You know, the more power that you use, the less time you're gonna be able to power things. You know, if you, ch if you use something that takes a lot of power, it's going to drain that battery. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You know, just because you, find, you can use a total of 300 watts, 
it will drain that battery very fast. So really be realistic about what you want to charge and uh, or power or whatever. But of course, this can always be recharged with the solar panels or if you need to go out to your car and charge it with your car. Um, when the power comes back on, plug it into your wall socket and just ch charge it that way. And then it'll be ready to go whenever there's an emergency. So, you know, there's lots of ways to, to charge it and keep it charged, um, you know, during the day or, you know, when it's not a power outage, so it can be ready to go during that power outage. But this is a great system, something I think every prepper should have is some type of solar generator. I want you to head to their website, link in the description down below and uh, look at all the options. This is just one of many of the options that they have. They have several other um, wattages available, you know, sizes, all that different. They have options available. So go check them out, link down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. I'll talk to you later. Bye, bye.